Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We are building another Lego friend set today and this is such a cute one. Look at that little caravan there in the picture. I couldn't resist this. I would love to go camping in a caravan like this. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, it's called the Lego Friends Summer Caravan Set. We're going to open it up, going to build it. We're going to go camping. <laughs> caravan camping. Oh, look. Okay, so two books, uh, two bags, and let's see which mini dolls, which Lego Friends we are going camping with today. So we've got, yeah, okay. Can't tell yet. Mm, let's see what color eyes there are. It is brown eyes. It is Olivia. All right, we're going camping with Olivia. That's really exciting. Okay, Olivia is ready to go caravanning. And who else? A little hedgehog. Oh, that's very sweet. I hope this hedgehog doesn't get up to any mischief. <laughs> okay, we'll move them over. And the other mini doll that comes in the set is Joanna. She's got on her knickerbocker pants there, three quarter length pants. She's wearing a little crop top, little bikini top. She looks like she's ready really for the beach. Maybe they're gonna go camping by the beach. And she's got her hair in a lovely plait at the back, which is sensible. Keep it tied back for when you're working at the uh, the fire. And look, there's little, oh, there's the little hedgehog. All right, girls, if you would like to move out of the way, and hedgehog, if you'd like to move out of the way, we can start with the first part of the build, which is green. So this is going to be part of the environment. And oh, big flower with a red top. <laughs> We're going out into nature, into the wild. A bottle of some, mm, something something I believe I think it's supposed to be sunscreen oh and check out this groovy umbrella so they can sit maybe here that doesn't look comfortable it's got little studs on it but they could sit here under the umbrella in the outdoors <laughs> try not to get nibbled on by hedgehogs or mosquitoes put on the sunscreen and they can have a marvelous time while we build the next teeny part of this which has got uh, an open flame on it. This is the camping stove. No, 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 stay away from that hedgehog. It's very, very hot. Fire equals burns. You don't want to go anywhere near that. So that's what they're going to be able to cook all of their meals on. <laughs> Burn their meals on. Depends how good they are at cooking. <laughs> Keeping an eye on it, not getting distracted. We've just built a little table, a very low table. And now we need a couple of little camping chairs. So let's do that. We'll put the little single studs under the bottom. And these are low down to the ground. That's so that they will fit underneath the table. That's a cute design. Very compact. Which is what you want when you go camping. You want everything to be able to fit into a teeny tiny space. Teeny tiny living space. And there's the hedgehog and Joanna are trying out the seats. Yes, hop off that seat, hedgehog, because that one now <laughs> you're on the table. Uh, okay. Alright, so we'll move all of these bits over. And you ready? Are we ready to go camping? Yes, they're very excited! But we've still got to build the caravan and we've got to build a car to actually pull it. So let's get on to that, shall we? That's quite important. A brand new car to pull the brand new cutest little caravan so that they can go out camping. Okay, car time. Let's do it. Let's get down to business. Building business. All right, we got a whole heap of the internal base going on there. Now we need some nice roundy bits for the back with the number plate on it, the registration plate. And I think this is the back. So there we are. That's identified one part. Some wheel arches. So now we know where the wheels are going to go. Of course, that would have been a <laughs> quite a big giveaway by the axles as well. A very cute little sticker with little paisley print on it. It's a very festive summery feeling car obviously because it is the summer caravan car and there is a space here to seat two people and there they are and a hedgehog <laughs> there's no space for the hedgehog really because you're supposed to be living out in the wild and the steering wheel is right in the middle so I don't know how they're going to uh, negotiate that <laughs> maybe one person does the pedals and the other person does the wheel with one hand I don't know we'll have to experiment and find out Another curvy bit here with some headlights on it and the grill, the front grill, which I think I'm trying to put on upside down. There, that's better. <laughs> that looks really, really cute. <laughs> Everything about this is adorable. I really love the whole pattern, the whole build of this. The tow bar is ready. It is ready to attach the caravan to, but of course we haven't finished the car yet. We've got some brake lights now. This is definitely the back, obviously, because the girls are facing the other way. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and we need to build up the sides a little and that poor little hedgehog actually that hedgehog is not leaving the girls alone I think it has found some new friends to adore and love <laughs> Oh, I like this. There's some comfortable leany backy bits for the chairs so they can lean back and cruise along while they're driving. And some other slanty pieces in the opposite direction on the back. They look so chilled there while I'm building their car. <laughs> uh, hold on. No, 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 that's not right. Okay, I've done something wrong. Let me see. These don't fit where they're supposed to. So I have port. Ah, uh, yeah, they're supposed to go all the way to the back and hang over the lights at the back. There we go. So they were one notch too far forward. Now we should be right. Now we should be able to put all of our smoothed over bits on the front. Eh, see? There's only a couple of steps wrong there. <laughs> Fixed it up. All good. Now a windscreen. This is such a cute cruising car. And it looks like, actually, that's probably... <laughs> the hedgehog is going to be driving. Don't know how safe that is going to be. Do you have your license, little hedgehog? Are you over 16? You have to be 16 and a half here in Australia to be able to start learning to drive a car. So I hope you are at least that age <laughs> and probably not a hedgehog because I don't think they let hedgehogs drive. Not generally anyway. Now I'm being ridiculous. Uh, four wheels. And the hedgehog is still just trying to negotiate that steering wheel and not having a great deal of success. But the car's ready and it is so cute. It's such a compact little thing. Oh, I love it. That's just absolutely adorable. But now we need to, ah, <laughs> there's the hedgehog driving again. Now we need to build the caravan to tow this Hold on, to tow with this car. So let's do it. Caravan time. Cutest little caravan time. So this is really cool. We have already got down the base plate. So this is as big as the caravan is going to go. So it's actually got a very small uh, footprint on the inside, I suppose you could call it. It's, it's not very big inside. So we're gonna have to fill it chock-a-block with lots of little things, little compact things, which can all fold in on each other so that they can fit a lot of things in a really small space. <laughs> Just like I said before, in a teeny tiny living space. Now these little yellow bits are curious, I wonder what they're for. And this is over here for a, it's on a hinge and maybe it's a little step to <laughs> roll, the car <laughs> roll the hedgehog into the caravan. Here's our, oh, okay. So the yellow bits are actually gonna be the stand for when the caravan is not attached to the car. So it hooks on here and when it's not hooked on, you can flip them down and it will help stand it up when we got the wheels on. We'll have to remember to try that out. Okay, little hedgehog, hop out of the way because we are starting to fill out the teeny tiny space in here with, well, all the things that it needs to contain. And we're up to bag number two. So we're doing really well, we're rocketing along. This part here is, it's got some brake lights on it and I suspect we're going to put another, I just need to get them straight. They're so hard to get them straight, those little square ones. We need to put another number plate on and I want to get that straight too. That looks really good actually. So that goes on the back. Oh, this is looking really great. We're building up on the inside a little bit. Some little jumper ones there, so they're going to be I don't know what they're going to be for. This is all very curious. This is all very exciting. And a smooth piece, so, hmm. <laughs> and just for scale, Olivia is now standing inside so you can see just how teeny tiny this is. We've just put a flower in there. Seriously, there's not enough room in here. Do we really have enough room to be planting flowers on the inside? Poor little hedgehog now can't get into the space where Olivia is. It's like a partition. So that's interesting as well. Got a little blender, it seems to be, or a little mixer. And this here has got to be the sink. Look how tiny that is. It's just one little, one little single area. 
<laughs> a little single block for the space for the water. So that's their sink area, the little tiny kitchenette. And this here, hold on, one, we need two windows, but there's only one single window. So obviously it's these ones that are two that are joined. Sticker on here, we're gonna put all their bathroom stuff in here. So you got sunscreen, you got toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, shampoo maybe. So this is going to be part of the bathroom. So uh, blue and red taps. So here's our shower or a bathtub. Would there be room for a bathtub in a caravan? No, don't be ridiculous. Of course there'd be no room for a bathtub in a caravan. And there's the hinge. And there is where we're going to grab it to open it, I think, maybe. Or are they going to swing on that as it drives along? There's the shower head. That is so cute. <laughs> it's all just so very, very contained. So let's connect this with the hinge over here. That goes over the smooth side. And there, it swings open so you can get in there. And that, when that clips up our little hinge section, that holds it quite firmly in place. So how is she going to use this shower? She's going to have to sit down. That looks uncomfortable. Hold on, let's open this. Maybe they're going to have to swing the door open. There we are. Now it's at just the right height for them to use it if they're standing up. Such a clever design. <laughs> I love all this. This is so great. All right, this looks like a little, I don't know, is it a book? This is definitely a lamp, a little camping light. We'll put that at the back there. And this is supposed to go, I don't know whether that's quite right. I think that that's supposed to be the MP3 player, the little bit that I call the book. I don't know, it, like, mm, I just don't know. But it would be fun, we can pretend, it, we can pretend that it's whatever we want it to be really. That's up to us. And I've put those white bricks in the wrong spot, which is why I couldn't find them. Here, we'll take the other single one off because it didn't belong there at all. I don't know what's going on with my brain today. Let's concentrate, see if I can get this right. On here is a little, it's a little window with some flowers out of it. This is so quaint. <laughs> it's just adorable. <laughs> That's gorgeous. And the hedgehog would like to nibble on those flowers, but no, you need to sit down here and stay out of the way while I'm building. This is where the single window goes. It's on the front here, so you can look out while you're doing the washing up at the sink. And here's the top part of the hinge to really keep that door in nice and firmly. Hinge at the top and the bottom. So we grab over there to swing it open and that's really, really looking great. And what's this? Oh, it's a lamp outside the front door. I also really like the colours that are involved in this. They're so bright and cheerful. It just makes me happy to use them all to build with. And there we go, part of the roof on. Nice soft angles on it. I love the light blue too with the yellow. <laughs> it's all just so enjoyable. So lovely to build. Now we have some more the soft rounded corner pieces. I love this style of caravan. The whole thing about it is just so, oh, it's just so cute. I don't know how really, <laughs> how really useful it is as a caravan, but we'll see. We'll see. Now there's an awning going over. Oh, it's a striped awning too. It just keeps getting better and better. An awning over the window. And a sticker goes on here. This is the TV where they can watch uh, shows about camping while they're camping. <laughs> it's kind of ironic. <laughs> uh, radio. Okay, this is looking interesting. There's no beds in there yet though, but we do have a big space. So we're gonna have to see what we do with that. Love the door too. And it gets some little flags hanging across it. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. And this looks like it's gonna be the matching top side to the roof piece that we just did before. So it goes up the top here to help snap that door into place, but I have missed off a whole row of stuff here. Let's see what I need. Oh no, I haven't. I've put these on one stud over too far, and now we're right again. And that, that's taking great shape. And there really is only just enough room for Olivia to be standing in there. <laughs> so tiny. And this is our roof. 
we're actually now going to put the roof on. We still haven't even built anywhere for them to sleep. But we'll see, we'll get there. So if this goes up here on the top, and this is easy to get on and off, it's on those little jumpers, and look at that. <laughs> I love the way that could stay open. The hedgehog cannot get through there. <laughs> so it is hedgehog proof when it's all shut. Now it gets some wheels. We are getting there. One on each side. <laughs> and a little round piece at the front there just to stop it from scraping if you drag it along. And some cooking utensils for camping. So this one, this saucepan, sorry, this frying pan has got two eggs frying in it. There you go, Joanna, you can look after that. In fact, if I get, yeah, well, a camping stove, you could try even putting them on there. I've just stuck my finger in those eggs. So they've got added flavor now with egg <laughs> finger flavor. Mmm, delicious. And in this, in this plate, we've got some salad. And in this one, we've got some spaghetti bolognese. They're having a feast, eggs, spag, bog, salad, and huh, cupcakes. Seriously, you're gonna make cupcakes while you're out camping? <laughs> okay. All right, open it up again now. Now, this space down here is actually for storing all of the cooking utensils. So let's see how we go with this. There's forks and a plate and some knives. We'll just put in two sets of each, though there are a few more. Oh, baking pan, which I just dropped. I'll go and find that in a moment. A mixer and a mixing bowl, a spatula, and they do not fit all in there. This is kind of like trying to play Tetris. There's the baking pan that does not fit. And now <laughs> we've still got the saucepan. Oh, why do I keep calling it a saucepan? A frying pan and the two plates and the cupcakes to fit in there. I don't think it's going to happen. So. Now it is time to put the beds on. They get some really nice stickers for the blankets. Ah, that looks so comfy. And another one. One for you, Olivia. Where are you? Ah, oh, actually, they no, can't yet. We gotta put the sticker on so we know it's all squishy and comfy with the blanket on it. There, two camping beds ready and the hedgehog is straight onto that to check out how comfortable it is and I don't know where Olivia's gonna sleep. <laughs> Let's see if we can fit these beds over the top of all of these cooking utensils. Uh, all right, first problem I have is I've put these on quite just the wrong spot. There we go, they need to move back a bit. And now these go on the jumpers and I think that's not gonna fit no matter how hard I poke it. We might have to all <laughs> mix it around a bit with a spatula. Spatula's out, still not gonna fit. It's that mixing bowl. We might put the mixing bowl in the sink, in the teeny tiny sink. And there, now their beds are ready. And the mixing bowl's fallen on the floor. <laughs> but they are in there. Look at that. That is so teeny tiny and awesome. The roof is on and we are connected up to the car. That's so great. They are ready to go camping. Actually, they're not quite ready yet because up here on the top is a very clever design which allows you to store the table and the camping chairs on the top of the caravan when they're not in use. That is really good. All right. Okay, girls, you ready? They're all packed. They're in the car. They're very excited. I'm very excited. Are you ready? Are you going to go off and find the very best camping spot? Well, they're gone. And maybe here. Here looks nice. What about here? No. Okay. Um, here, here's lovely, there's a beautiful breeze and no. Right. What about here? Look at all those beautiful trees and there's, ah, uh, right, no, no, not there. This one is perfect though. I think you've found just the right camping spot for overnight camping. So let's set up. They've got out their sunscreen and gonna put up the the, uh, the umbrella over here. Oh, this is starting to go really well. Pass the table and the chairs down from the top. Be careful, don't drop that on Olivia's head. Ooh, oh, lucky. <laughs> now they're all set up and they're making cupcakes because that's the first thing you do when you go camping is get the mixer and the bowl out and you make cupcakes. <laughs> uh, I have no idea how they're gonna cook it. Oh, yes I do. So Joanna's gonna cook it on the camping stove. Is that gonna work? Apparently it does. That one's risen. Let's see if you can cook another one. There. Oh, yum. Camping cupcakes. In fact, the delicious smell has brought the hedgehog in. 
Lucky they made another one for their hedgehog too. That's nice. That's sharing and caring, that is. What lovely girls they are. <laughs> well, starting to come into evening now. Must be time to start preparing the dinner. Olivia's over here frying some eggs and Joanna is setting the table out, ready for dinner. It's very civilised. They've got knives and forks and everything. And now they're trying to eat their dinner. There appears to be a hedgehog straddling both of their plates. <laughs> the joys of wildlife and eating out in nature. Go on, girls. Share a little bit of your salad with the hedgehog. And it's such a beautiful night. The stars are shining that they have taken all of their sleeping gear out. They're going to sleep out under the stars, out under the open sky, away from the city lights. A few bugs there around the uh, camping light. And the hedgehog is very curious. And now it is lying on Olivia. <laughs> I don't know how comfortable that will be for a night's sleep. <laughs> but the hedgehog does love them so much. They've moved inside now, hopefully to... Uh, to just keep the wildlife at bay while they have a nice restful night's sleep. There they are. They look very comfy in there. But who is this at the door? <laughs> it's that cheeky, sneaky hedgehog. <laughs> I can see it peeking through the window. It's found Olivia again. And it's left the door open. I wonder how many other animals will have come in to visit them <laughs> by the time morning comes. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe so you get notified when new videos go up. Give me a like. Check out some of my other silly videos and I will be back with a new one very, very soon.